Okay, so I posted on the sensor earlier for this as a vibration sensor um, as far as what it could be used for. Uh, the actual application that I'm using it for is a, a live critter trap. Uh, so the uh, animal enters through here. This is a guillotine type of uh, door so that uh, when the sensor triggers the animal going entering, uh, what will happen is that a servo will pull this pin and, and put it back in place. And so, meanwhile, the, the critter is trapped inside. Now there's a door on the other side that is also servo controlled that uh, is spring loaded to open. And so the critter can be released. So it'll be completely remote. Um, you catch the critter, uh, it'll have a handle, you take it out, and, and it'll be a remote control where you can just press a button and let it go without it having to come back and get you if that it becomes an issue. But what I wanted to point out is that the sensor that I'm using is a vibration sensor and it is extremely sensitive. I mean, here this, the sensor is located inside of the box, but I can tap here. I mean, just barely tap. And the thing's coming on. So here's the sensor down here. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well. But it's basically, it's like a 132nd inch plexiglass sandwiching a piezo and then it goes out through it's basically just a 10 inch or 10 centimeter square here's the wires that are leading up to the piezo and coming through coming out the side over here and then up to the circuit board and so literally like I said I'm at the top of the box here I can just touch on that and it comes on so I have to put something on there to detune it 